See him. He should be floating by here any moment, smiled Theodore. And sure enough, Northumberland submarine was just rising to the surface, out by Owen, the giant oil rig. After finishing his nightly underwater ocean patrol, Hey, Northumberland! boomed Owen in his extra big voice. Guess who's here? Who? said Northumberland. Stewiak! roared Owen. And guess who's with him? Riding up on his deck, just as cute as a catfish's kittens. Pugwash, said Northumberland in a very quiet voice. Yes, sir, he Bob, blared Owen. And I know you two are closer than two particles on a blowhole. No, replied Northumberland, we're not. Now, how can you not like a cute little pickle boat like Pugwash? hollered Owen. Owen! whispered Northumberland. Too late. Stewiak and the tugboats were heading his way. Oh, oh you want me to be quiet? roared Owen in a voice so loud it shook Northumberland's periscope. Hey, I can do that, huh? No problem, oh. Countermeasures, cried Northumberland. Dive, dive, dive. I was sure I saw Northumberland out here. All I can see now is Owen. Theodore and Hank floated along with Stewiak and Pugwash as they came into the harbor. Don't worry, Pugwash, smiled Theodore. Northumberland always falls asleep on his way home. He's a very sleepy sup. Always, repeated Hank. He'll be here any time now, said Theodore, looking around. He's very sleepy, added Hank. But there was no sign of him. Maybe Northumberland came home early and he's already at his dock, Theodore decided. And then he had an idea. I'll go bring him over, he told Pugwash. He wouldn't want to miss seeing you. With a merry toot toot of his whistle, Theodore hurried off to get Northumberland. Over by the Navy Yard, Northumberland was slowly rising to the surface. He looked this way, and that. Whew, he sighed at last. No sign of pugwash. Northumberland! Someone was calling him. Northumberland looked around. Theodore, he said. Don't scare me like that. I came to tell you that Pugwash has come for a visit, smiled Theodore. I don't want to see Pugwash, said Northumberland. But I thought Pugwash was your friend, said Theodore, surprised. She... she bumps me, explained Northumberland. At first, Theodore almost smiled at the thought of a great big Northumberland being scared of tiny little pugwash. She seems very well behaved to me, Theodore said at last. She's gonna bump me, insisted Northumberland. She always does. Well, maybe, maybe she's changed, said Theodore. She is a little bigger than when she visited us before. Northumberland didn't say anything at first. You always used to fall asleep on your way home, Theodore continued. But today you didn't. I guess I didn't.